Welcome back to my channel folks. This time I will share some tips that might help you to sharpen your knives on the field. Being able to keep our knives sharp make them more helpful and safer during the use. We all know that the sharp knife is safer than a dual one, because with a dual knife we tend to apply more pressure which will lead to accidents. There are different types of sharpeners on the market, from natural whetstone to artificial diamond sharpeners, but very few are practical on the field. In the sharpening process, we grind metal off to realign the carbides that compose the edge temporarily. In my humble opinion, natural stones are not the smartest choice to keep your knife sharp on the field for several reasons. First, they are heavy. Second, they are pretty fragile. Third, they need more maintenance and you need to dry them out before you put them back in your pack. We also have to choose carefully the right grain size we want to carry in our pack too. The range of grain sizes you should look for goes from 220 grit for profiling the edge to 2000-3000 grit to give a final touch to the edge. Before I share my tips, remember, sharpen your skill beforehand, learn about sharpenings at home and then try these things out to see what works best for you, your system and your knife. So here's my tips. First, to me the perfect sharpening system needs to be light, effective and easy to use. Get a couple of good quality diamond stones and a leather strop to eliminate the burr created by the sharpening process. Second tip, use your knives when it's really needed. Your knife is a tool, not a toy. Even we often love to play with it, I know that, because I do it too. We can break sticks with hands or we can use our knees. We can also use our folding saw instead, because conservation of resources should always be the main priority for us. Third tip, always drop your knives when you have done with it. It will keep carbides better aligned for longer period, so the health of the edge of your knives will last longer. Just keep a piece of wood with a leather layer attached on it, with a bit of sharpening paste in your pack. Even a leather belt can do the job. One important thing for your safety. Never sharpen or strop your knives between your legs unless you want to play inside your blood triangle. Find a stable spot where you can do the job safely away from your arteries. And if you want to make your strop system more stable in order to work with both hands on the knife, you can tie the leather strop around the tree trunk with a couple of spools of bank line. It will make your life easier. Be patient and build the right amount of muscle memory to accomplish the job. By the way, even jeans works very well for stropping the knife. I used to keep a jeans strop in my pack all the time. As you noticed, the first three tips are meant to prevent that you have to sharpen your knives on the field, which will always be the smartest thing. Don't let your knife get dull. When it gets super dull, the nightmare begins for you. Fourth tip, understand your bevel angle. To understand the right sharpening angle of your knife, put the side of the blade on the stone and see the gap between the stone surface and the edge of the blade. Lean the knife towards the stone till the gap or the shadows disappear. You can also use a pile of coins as a ruler to define the right angle. After that, you can keep the same angle during motion using your index finger till your muscle have memorized the correct angle. One extra hint. To prevent to scratch your index finger against the stone, you can wrap it with Gorilla Tape. Fifth tip. Create stone holders. 
we are not cyborgs you will be more precise and your movements are more accurate if you stack your diamond stone on a stable platform Sixth tip, don't use too much pressure while sharpening. It's easier to lose the fine control you need to do a correct job. Do the same number of stroke for each side, so keep counting. Apply a constant pressure with two or three fingers where you are working on, then move those fingers towards the next sector of the edge you need to sharpen. When we sharpen, we should consider that we all have a dominant hand, so natural we will risk to sharpen more one side than the other for instance my strong side is my left so i always start with my right hands first if you decide to choose natural stone i suggest you to go for wet stone instead of oil stones because you can find water everywhere when you are out in the woods you can even speed on it if it's necessary I want to show you my way to sharpen my knives. That really worked in the in the last two, three years for me. It's a, a very easy system, pretty light that I created to give a touch to the edge of my knives and keep my knives sharpened without carrying too much stuff with me. Actually, uh, this system that I've created is the only system that I carry lately. I have created a pretty simple platform which is made out of a bar of aluminum, which means pretty light. And I attached a, a rubbery layer on the back so it stay in the place where I put it on. Since all my knives are uh, convex or with a convex edge, I, I had to find an easy way to sharpen them on the go. I came out with this layer of aluminum adhesive foam layer that makes the surface soft so when i push the surface bend a little bit and follows the shape of my edge how does that work for me the best way to sharpen a knife is flexible cloth aluminium oxidized steel sandpaper you can find it in every hardware store it's pretty simple you have layers of sandpaper uh, what i usually do is i cut uh, all the layers in different strips 320 i go up to 600 then i go a thousand a thousand two thousand and sometimes i also carry five thousand just for polishing the edge how can i attach it to the system i'm still working on it what i usually do is i take one of the strip i just lay it on my sharpening system i bend one of the edges okay and I use ranger bands that I made out of the inner bicycle tube. I block one side, another ranger band to block. Okay. And now I have the steel sandpaper really attached to the surface. So when I have to sharpen a knife, uh, of course, I always put this on a stable place. I will show later. But what I do is moving like stropping on the surface the surface bends itself according to the how much pressure i put on the on the stroke okay
always remember to apply a constant pressure and apply water every time that the steel sandpaper gets dry. Don't forget to make the same number of strokes on each side and always start with your weak side. This chopping device is actually being made by one of my dearest brothers, Marco De Carli. Um, you can check him out on Instagram under the name The Grey Wolf 77. It's made out by very high quality wood and a top notch leather. I've also noticed that the jeans works really well for stropping our knives. This is a very old one. I think I made this jean strop four or five years ago I need to make a new one that's the usual size that I keep in my backpack but with the new Marcos leather strop I'm really happy and it's chopped really well so check him out by the way this is one of the latest toys I've tried lately uh, it's made by Warsharp it does have a fine diamond sharpener on one side a coarse one on the on the opposite side uh, both have uh, a 20 degree guide to help you out to keep the same angle you have a leather strop and you also have, have a ceramic rod and you also have a small ceramic rod for serrations something that I will never use because I don't like serrated edges it works good definitely not something for me the quality of the diamond plates seems to be good uh, i don't know if they last long what do you think about this fancy stuff if you have any experience using these sharpeners uh, please let me know in the comment i truly hope that this video will help you out in a way to understand more about sharpening you only need practice 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 and about my sharpening system that i've created i know that it's still a, a work in progress but i'm really happy science now why i love it i love it because sandpaper is almost everywhere you can find it in every hardware store around you and it's way cheaper than uh, diamond stones they won't last longer like a diamond stone but for what they cost it doesn't bother me any it's pretty light and pretty compact it disappears in my in my backpack and even if you want to build one up it's it's going to be really cheap so let me know what you think in the comment that's it for today and see you in the next video